and welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows and movies. Today, I will be reviewing the 2004 romantic comedy starring Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler, 50 First Dates. Now, before I get into the review, if you like the content, please feel free to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And in case you've been living under a rock and haven't seen this movie that grossed around $150 million, consider yourself warned. The plot of this movie is quite simple. Adam Sandler is trying to get with Drew Barrymore. But Drew Barrymore can't remember anything past 24 hours. And he tries to make her fall in love with him every single day. Until he ends up getting her at the end. And she they become like married and have a kid together. That's the plot of the movie. When you hear it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. The problem is, is that you end up watching the movie and the humor doesn't age well. This is 2004 Adam Sandler when he had, why well, he has free reign now with Netflix, but he had free range then because he was at his height of his celebrity, I guess, or influence, but the humor doesn't it is a is just misses even though a lot of people say this is what you're accustomed to adam sandler movies and given the fact that you could see a bunch of his new material on netflix i disagree with that it's not that the 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 same kind of super lowbrow humor and don't get me wrong he does tend to still dabble in some of that, but I think he's moved away from it most likely because he saw the writing on the wall that that wasn't the way trends were, were going. But once you physically watch the movie, there's parts that make you feel stuff. Like as a father, it, you know, you put yourself when you realize that the father was responsible or was with the daughter, even though they try to pawn it off on a cow that caused the accident for the father to lose control and they hit a tree and that's how Drew Barrymore has short term memory loss where she can't remember anything past 24 hours. When you when you put yourself as a father, it touches your heart. Like you understand how hard that would be. And then you start going into special needs children just in the normal world whatever those needs might be and how hard some of these parents struggle or have to go through day to day every single day no breaks nothing no 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 time off and it tugs you at the heart and it does a great job doing that but then the, again everything else just doesn't hit he comes off as a jerk. He doesn't treat his friends right, good. His coworkers, he's borderline abusive. He's all narcissistic. He's basically a, a sociopath. And that somehow is endearing, even though everyone can, can see it. And that's the part where you separate your son because he shows you over and over and over again what kind of character he has, which is none. But the fact that his friend convinces him because she has short term memory and he likes to sleep with random women. Hey, guess what? It's the same girl, but it's like you're sleeping with all these different women because she won't remember you. Or you could just sleep with her guilt free and you know that she'll never remember you anyways. For whatever reason, it's, you know, it's like dangling the, the forbidden fruit. And once you do that, once you say no to someone, oh, now I have to do it. Again, it's lack of impulse control. But yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel sympathy for the, the Adam Sandler's character. Right when he started, you know, meeting Drew Barrymore, I was like, why, why should I cheer for him? Him to get 
Drew Barrymore because nothing in the first part of the movie deems it worthy. And even when he starts courting her, he's still mean to his friends. He still doesn't care. It's all self-centered. It's all narcissistic. It's all like focused on, on me, me, me. I want to get her. And the movie's trying to tell me that it's cute, but it's not. it doesn't come off cute. Like it just comes off creepy at, at points. Towards the end, he definitely redeems himself the extents that he goes to to make her fall in love with him every day once he's fully committed yeah he, it's some somewhat endearing but then you remember everything else that he did throughout the whole movie and it takes me away from from cheering for him not to take away that I'm probably with the majority that I believe that Adam Sandler made this movie just to be able to kiss Drew Barrymore all over Hawaii because I find I don't know I don't I don't understand why this movie was made. I don't understand why it did so good. There's so many other quote unquote romantic comedies. But again, I think I, I think I hit it in the beginning. I understand why it did so good because as a guy, I could sit there and watch this movie. You know, if my wife or my girlfriend or significant other asked me to sit and watch this movie, I could. Drew Barrymore is stunning. She's radiant. She the whole movie, every time she was in the in the shot, it was visually pleasing. She, come on, is Drew is Drew Barrymore? It's a generation grew up lusting over her. And look at me over here talking about Adam Sandler's comedy. I'm over here, basically doing the same thing with my review. But Adam Sandler knew what he was doing when he was filming or shooting her in the lighting that he did. I mean that rain shot when they were breaking up and she ran out in the in the rain and did that little pose she knew what she was doing and adam sandler knew what, what he was doing and he knew what reaction we would get that's why it makes it watchable because you could sit there and you're just looking at drew barrymore and honestly if my my girlfriend i i, I could put myself in 2000 in the year 2004 and if my girlfriend said yeah you know i enjoy it. let's go watch it again i would watch that again and i'm assuming that's why it did so well it, it grossed around 150 million dollars and you could see the budget was nowhere near that so it did it turned a huge profit and when i asked myself i was like why 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 would it turn such a profit and i'm like yeah it, it guys don't mind watching this movie and why would we the eye candy that is drew barrymore in 2004 was this movie showed it, it it put her front and center and again it was a it's a good date movie for guys it's a definitely it it would be considered a chick flick if your wife like again if they picked it you wouldn't you wouldn't say no or you probably say no but you'll it'll be bear, bearable for you to watch from beginning to end so i'm gonna give this a three out of five it's okay, you know, the comedy misses, it doesn't age well, but it's it's shot beautifully in a beautiful state. Uh, they, again, do a great job in just showing you locations and bringing a little bit of that Hawaii lifestyle and living that uh, Hawaii is known for. And I again, I appreciated that. But again, the, the humor misses, uh, some of the repetitive stuff that we become a cut that we become accustomed from a Adam Sandler movie are obviously present in this and maybe that that uh, that compiled upon the fact that I've seen it over and over and over again in so many of his works and maybe it's causing a biased effect in my rating if you're mad that I gave it a three out of five but I think a three out of five 
uh, is respectable. I, I was honestly thinking about giving it two out of five just because the humor just keeps kept on missing. At some point, like the the last, you know, third of the movie, he it just stopped. Like he quit trying to to hit on the humor. And you're okay, you know. It ends. It ends okay. At least the 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 lowbrow humor. There was still some of that Adam Sandler delivery, but it's Adam Sandler. You you understand that's the kind of movies you are going to get when you watch that movie. So, but towards again the the the, the last quarter of the movie, it, he the that comedy went away, and he was just trying to stick with more traditional higher brow adam sandler movies so i hope you enjoyed my review would i recommend it hey if you if your girlfriend asks for a romantic movie that you watch from beginning to end i would recommend this and if you are a woman hearing this and you are thinking of a movie that your boyfriend husband or significant other can sit there and enjoy with you, I would suggest this movie. I think it works both ways. If you are you don't want to watch a bunch of gory action flick, and if you want to put a smile on her, fa on her face, then 51st Dates is the movie for you. And with that, that's a wrap.